Yo, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to time remap your Fortnite cinematics, and I'm also going to show you a cool transition. Here's a preview of what you're going to learn. Alright, so you want to start by putting markers on the beats. This is just to generally keep your project organized so that you're not losing all your like spots where you want to sync and it can really help when you're working on a big project. So basically you want to click on your song and then double click L while selecting it and that will show you the sound waves of the song. And now you want to drag a marker to each beat that you're going to sync a clip to. So I've only got these three clips, so I'm just going to mark two beats, but you can mark as many or as little as you want. It's all up to you. Once you've done that, the next step is to enable time remapping on your clips. To do this, you just want to select the clip and then press Control Alt T and that'll enable time remapping. And you'll see these two little keyframes. And with those, you want to just drag them to the parts of the song where you want your clips to start and end. So you can just move them and then move the rest of the song, I mean the rest of the clip with it. So just do that. Now that you've done that for all your clips, we're going to start adjusting the speed of the clips. So you want to highlight both of your keyframes and press F9 to easy ease them. Then press this icon here to open the graph editor. You should see this little squiggly line and I'm going to show you the shape that you want to use for your clips. And this shape can vary but you want to generally stay around this shape. And then once you've done that you can readjust it, make sure you're playing it back, changing it to make sure it looks good and do this to all of your clips. Okay, so this is what mine is looking after I've finished the time remap on every clip. The next step is the transition. I'm going to teach you a really simple blur transition that you can use in a lot of different scenarios. So you want to start off by making an adjustment layer. You can do this by clicking Control Alt Y or you can just go to the top of your screen, press Layer, New, Adjustment Layer. Now that you've got your adjustment layer, you can go to your Effects and Presets tab and search up Camera Lens Blur, then drag it onto the layer. Now you want to go about 12 frames before the beat and keyframe the blur radius at 0. Then go to the beat and change it to 18% and then go like about 19 or 20 frames after the beat and put it back down to 0. This is the blur part of the transition, but I'm going to add a few more things like some color just to make it look even better. Next, you want to grab some CC toner and also drag that onto the adjustment layer. Now you can change the colors to whatever you want, and I'm going to just change mine to some pinkish color. So go to the same frame that you put the other keyframe on for the blur and mark the blend with original at 100%. Then go back to the beat and change it to about like 35 to 40 or whatever looks good to you. I'm going to put mine at like 36. And then you want to go 19 frames after the beat, just like the other one, and make the blend with original 100% again. So now we're done with the base of this transition, but there's still a lot of things you can variate. And for example, I'm going to show you how I'm going to do the transition on the second part of the clip. So I'm going to copy this transition that we just made and paste it on the other transition. But for this one, I'm also going to add this thing called Blurmo Curves. So this is a Sapphire plugin, a third party plugin, but you can probably find a different way to do this without getting the plugin using just scale or something like that. Basically go like about eight frames before the clip and set the Z distance on the Blurmo curves to one and just keyframe that and then go to the actual clip and set it to about 0.6 is what I'm going to do, but whatever looks good again. And then you want to go after the clip and change it back or what I'm going to do here is just I'm going to leave it 
because I think it looks fine a little bit zoomed in. Another thing you can do is start the second clip zoomed out and then zoom it in. Once you've got your two keyframes for the Z distance, there's only one more part. You wanna highlight both of your keyframes and make them easy ease. You can do this by pressing F9 on your keyboard. Once you've done that, open the graph editor like we did before, and you wanna make sure that you're on speed graph. Now that you're in the speed graph editor, you wanna make a sort of arc or like ramp. It looks sort of like a ramp, just like this. Basically move both um, like sliders sort of all the way to the right. And that is how you're gonna do like um more like exponential curve so it's not like going straight it's like you know sp changes the speed you know okay so once you've done that you can check it out make sure it looks good if not you can always readjust and we're basically done so here's the finished product that's gonna be it for this tutorial let me know in the comments if you want a tutorial on anything else, because I will definitely do that, and have a good day.